Hello, this is Sky Gatishek. I'm here to present to you on uh, fossil fuel subsidies. That's my talk. So what are oil and gas subsidies? Um, it's basically any measure by a government to favor oil and gas energy over other markets. This often occurs in the form of tax breaks, and these tax breaks can benefit either the consumer or the supplier. Uh, in 2015, 5.3 trillion worldwide spent on oil, gas, and coal subsidies, and this accounts for 6.5% of global GDP. Uh, subsidies, one advantage of subsidies is that they can be seen as benefiting consumers because it lowers energy costs, but this really only benefits those that can afford that energy, and um, one particular study showed that uh, only 8% of subsidies will benefit the or is one fifth of the population. So it's pretty unfair towards the poor. Um, they can also be seen as problematic because their uh, slow renewable energy development is less incentive for that sort of development when subsidies are still happening. Um, they can contribute to climate change because, <clears throat> because the uh, oil and gas market is still thriving. Uh, and they raise government debt unnecessarily. Uh, and subsidies are even employed when market when prices are low due to market conditions. So, for instance, in 2015, with prices as low as they were, still a significant amount of money being spent on uh, subsidies. And in 2015, just in the U.S., uh, U.S. government subsidized 669 billion. Uh, in oil and gas subsidies. And uh, estimates are that if all subsidies were cut globally, our uh, CO2 emissions would fall by over 20% and government revenue would raise nearly $3 trillion. Okay, well, thanks for your time.